A-B split tests are one of the most powerful ways to optimize your ads and increase the quality of the leads coming into your website. Today, I'm gonna to show you different split tests that you can run to increase the performance of your lead generation campaigns. Hey everyone, my name is Axel and I'm the director of paid media at Agent Launch, where we manage over half a million dollars in ad spend per month, as well as help our clients build scalable acquisition systems that they own. So before we get into any of this, you might be wondering what exactly is an A-B split test. So a split test, which is also known as an A-B split, is a simple way to compare two different variations online to see which variation performs better. This is done by showing variation A to a certain group of people and then another variation B to another group of people and then comparing those results to see which variation is more effective in achieving the desired goal, which could be either leads, sales, or clicks. They can be used to both either increase the performance of an ad that's currently not working or further improve the performance of an ad that is working. So I'm gonna mention four different split tests that you can try within Google Ads. But before we get into any of that, I'm gonna show you how to duplicate something within a Google Ad campaign because it's gonna come in pretty handy for this video. So to duplicate something within Google Ads, the process is always the exact same thing. So throughout this video, we're gonna be duplicating ads, ad groups, and campaigns, but I'm only gonna show you how to do one of them because the process is the same for all three. So right now I'm in a client account. Uh, he's based in Hawaii, and I'm gonna be showing you how to duplicate an ad set. So the way you'd wanna do that is click on the campaign where your ad set is, and I'm gonna to want to duplicate this Oahu ad group right here. So I'm gonna click on ad groups and then click on ad groups right here, and I'm gonna select now the ad group that I want to duplicate. So Oahu is the one we want, so I'm gonna tick the box right here. I'm gonna tick this box, and then this blue bar at the top is gonna to show up when I do that, and I'm gonna to wanna to click on edit, and then I'm gonna to want to copy it. So what that's doing is it's copying that entire ad group with everything within that ad group. And I'm gonna click on close, and once you click close, you'll see a little paste icon pop up. So we're gonna click on that. Once the screen is loaded, what it's asking you here is where do you want to paste this ad group? So which campaign do you want the ad group to go into? I'm gonna to want to paste it into the exact same campaign, so I'm just gonna select the search buyer campaign because that's where it originally was in and I'm gonna click on done. Now, before it lets you do it, it's always gonna ask you, do you want to pause this duplicated thing um, once we've pasted it? I always take this box. If you're doing this to split test something, you always want it to be paused because you want to make the changes to the variation before you enable it. So what I'm gonna do here is pause it so then it's duplicated as paused. Then I'm gonna change the variation and then I'm gonna enable it. So I'm gonna click on paste here and we're gonna see another screen come up in a second. So it's always gonna tell you pasting your ad group or campaign or ad, and then it gives you the option to run it in the background. I always click on that, that way I can just get on with whatever else I'm doing. Now, what's gonna happen is if we refresh this a couple times, so whenever you duplicate something, it's, it's, a, it's always going to duplicate it and then have the same name to the ad group that you just duplicated, and then it's gonna add number two. So this Oahu number two here is our B variation, and now we are good to use whatever we want to split test this for. So that's how you duplicate something within Google Ads. I just did it for an ad group, but the process is the exact same if you do it for an ad or a campaign. So now that we know how to duplicate something within Google Ads, we can now dive into our first split test, which will be split testing a listing page on the ad level within Google Ads. For this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test within Lex's Real Geeks website if it converts better on an ad if I bring the traffic to a listing page where the properties are shown as a list versus a grid view. These things actually do matter from market to market and you might get a different result depending on your market. So it's always a good one to test. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna start by going into his ad group, which is gonna be the Honolulu one for this example. And I'm gonna duplicate his ad, which I've already done right here. So what we can see now is within his Honolulu ad group, I have the original ad and then I have my duplicated version, which is currently paused right here. And keep in mind, I've left it on pause because I haven't actually changed anything. So what I want to do is split test list view versus grid view. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the original ad and just click to see where the traffic goes to, which is this listing page of homes for sale within Oahu. And what I want to do is now test it when it's on a grid view for the other ad, which looks like this. What I want to do is now grab this new URL up here and I'm gonna go back into Google Ads and this variation right here, which is my new variation or variation B, um, as most people say it, I would grab this one and click the pencil icon to edit that. So what I'm gonna do is where it says final URL here, I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna paste the new one right here. And I'm just gonna scroll to the very bottom and click save ad. So now what we can do is we can now turn this on and enable it. That way, as you can see, 
I have two different ad variations. If I click on this one, it leads to the listings shown as a list view. And I now have these ones right here, um, which are shown as a grid view. And usually for split test, what you wanna do is run this for at least a week or two before you make a decision. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll to the right here in the table and look at your cost per conversion. Whichever one is costing you a lower cost per lead, keep that one and then pause the other one. That way you only keep the winning one. So that's the first split test, and that's essentially split testing the listing page within your website. So for our second split test, we're gonna do a split test on location targeting. So for this one, it's actually gonna be on a campaign level um, because the location settings are only found on a campaign level. So to do this one, what I'm gonna do is click on all campaigns on the left here, and I'm gonna click on campaigns and click on campaigns, and I'm now gonna select the campaign that I want to duplicate. So let's say it's this buyer campaign right here. I can grab that and I'm gonna click on edit, copy, close that, and then I'm just gonna paste it once that comes up. So I'm gonna click on paste within his account, click done, and I'm gonna pause it and now paste, and that's just gonna run in the background. So after refreshing now, I can see that the campaign has successfully been duplicated, which is right here, AL search buyer number two, and it's paused, which is good. So what I'm split testing here is essentially the location setting. Usually I recommend that your location settings for your targeted locations is set to something called presence or interest, which essentially means if someone is in your targeted location or currently interested in your location, then you want to target that person. For real estate, it's a good setting because you're targeting both local traffic and people who are trying to relocate if you're targeting buyer leads. Um, but sometimes it could be a good idea to split test um, interest and presence versus a presence only. So you want to be testing essentially only local people within your area versus local and people who are interested in your area. So that's essentially what I'm gonna do here. So the original one is targeting a presence plus interest audience. So for the new one, I essentially wanna enable it so then it's targeting a presence only audience. So what I'm gonna do is click onto that new campaign right here and go into my settings right there. And once the settings comes up, we're gonna click on locations, which is right here. And we're just gonna scroll down to location options and change presence or interest to presence only and click save. Now that you've done that, you can now run your split test by turning on this campaign right here, which is found right there. And I can essentially enable this now. That way we have two campaigns now. One of them is targeting only local traffic and one of them is targeting uh, local and people who are interested in possibly relocating to that location. So again, like the first split test, what you're going to want to do in a week or two is analyze the results for the two campaigns. Whichever one is performing better, you might want to just go ahead with that one and then pause the worst performing one. For the third split test, we're going to be testing different types of keywords, specifically broad match versus phrase match. And this one's going to be done on a campaign level as well. Usually I prefer using broad match keywords because you can add negative keywords to make them more relevant and it also targets more people. But often phrase match keywords can actually result in a better cost per lead. So it's always worth split testing that. The way you want to do that is start by duplicating a campaign, which I've already done here. So we have our original A variation, which is the search buyer campaign up here and search buyer campaign number two, which is uh, the one we'll be using as our B variation. So I'm gonna rename this here to make it super clear that this one is going to be our phrase match campaign uh, for the keywords. So I'm gonna rename it there so then it's super clear. And what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and change that campaign. So what I want to do for this one is go into this campaign right here, and I'm now gonna click on keywords and click on search keywords. I'm then going to scroll down to the very bottom of this table to make sure that every single result is being shown. So here we have a list of the 94 different keywords that Lex is currently using, and I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to click on edit and change match type and change all match types. And I want to change them to a phrase match and click on apply. Now that's going to run in the background for a second. So I'm just going to refresh and now you can see that all of the keywords are now not on broad match, but they're now on phrase match. Uh, right here. So that campaign is now good to be turned on um, since all of your keywords have been changed and you can test broad versus phrase match. And just like the other two, let it run for a week or two, whichever one performs better, keep that one running and then pause the other one. So for the fourth split test, we're going to be split testing a bid strategy, specifically maximizing conversions versus the variation, which is going to be using TCPA. Now, a uh, big disclaimer on this one, do not try this unless you've ran a Google ad search campaign for at least six months. What TCPA is, you're essentially maximizing for conversion, so maximizing leads, but you're also telling Google at the same time 
get me get me as many leads as possible, but get them for this amount or lower. So let's say Lex is getting nine dollar leads. I can essentially set a maximizing conversion strategy and within this campaign, set a TCPA to nine dollars. That way, not only is Google trying to maximize the amount of leads coming from his website, but they're also trying to get his leads for nine dollars or less. Now, this is very powerful when it works, but the thing is, if it doesn't work and if Google is not able to achieve that goal, it just stops spending entirely within that campaign and then you get zero leads, which is no good. And this often happens with newer campaigns. So you only wanna do this once you've ran a search campaign for about six months or more and you have a very consistent cost per lead and only then should you be trying this. So I'm gonna go into this buyer campaign and look at the last six months of data, which is from November 1st until today. And I'm gonna go into this overview and click on cost per conversion, which is $8.20. So I know that on average, he's achieved about an $8 lead for the past uh, six months within his ad account. So that's a pretty accurate representation of what we're able to achieve here. The next thing we wanna do is essentially duplicate this campaign since the setting change is done on a campaign level for bid, uh, for bid strategies. So what you wanna do is duplicate the campaign, which I've already done. And I'm gonna go into all of my campaigns to go show you where that one is and it's right down here. So AL search buyer number two, that is the variation we're gonna change and I'm gonna rename that and add TCPA to that. So then it's super clear that this one has a TCPA whether, um, whereas the other one does not have a TCPA. So once that's renamed, I'm now gonna go into that ad campaign and I'm gonna go into the settings and within the settings, we're gonna go into the bid strategy which is under bidding right here. So you can see it's using a maximizing conversion strategy. That's because the original one, original one is. And I'm gonna set now a target cost per action for this. Um, TCPA, so we saw that he's getting $8.20 leads. So I'm gonna set a TCPA of $8.50 leads just as a, just a little bit higher than what he's currently getting just to be sure that this actually works. And I'm gonna click on save. And now what you can do is essentially turn on this campaign because the split test is done being created. And like last time, let it run for about a week or two and then just turn on the campaign, leave the campaign on which has the better performing result and turn off the one that is performing worse. But keep in mind, if you're gonna be doing this split test, keep a very, very close eye on your B variation, the one with the TCPA, because like I said, if it doesn't manage to get you leads at that TCPA or lower, it's just gonna stop spending entirely and you wanna be on the lookout for that because you don't wanna get all of a sudden zero leads going into your website. If you plan on trying any of these split tests soon, then just let us know in the comments which one you plan on using. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Catch you on the next one.